Criminology Board Exam Reviewer. Sociology of Crimes 100 Items. Link for original questionnaires and answers can be found in the video description. 1. An old woman approached PO3 Gomez asking the police officer to run after an unidentified young man who allegedly snatched her mobile phone. PO3 Gomez declined claiming that the man was already a block away from them and besides the police officer alleged that he is rushing home for an urgent matter. The officer's refusal to help the old woman is an example of a. Nonfeasance b. Malfeasance c. Misfeasance d. Misconduct The answer is a. Nonfeasance 2. When the accused is found not guilty of the charges presented before the court, he is a. Convicted b. Suspended c. Acquitted d. Absuelto The answer is c. Acquitted 3. Guilty by act means a. Actus Royce b. Actus Numbus c. Guiltus Royce d. Re Mensa The answer is a. Actus Royce 4. If physiological or psychological dependence on some agent are obviously detected from a person, he is in the state of a. Dependency or addiction b. Comatose c. Insanity d. Metamorphosis the answer is A. Dependency or addiction. 5. Which of the following is described as the threatening behaviors, either verbal or physical, directed at others? A. Abnormality. B. Dependency. C. Aggression. D. Violence. The answer is C. Aggression. 6. What aggressive behavior includes repeated non-compliance to a direct command, verbal abuse name-calling, verbal abuse threat, and physical abuse? A. Interactive. B. Isolated. C. Covert. D. Overt. The answer is A. Interactive. 7. What aggressive behavior includes cursing, swearing, intentional destruction of property, and self-destructive behaviors? A. Isolated. B. Covert. C. Interactive. D. Overt. The answer is A. Isolated. 8. What aggressive behavior includes the emotional and cognitive components of aggression such as anger and hostility? A. Covert. B. Dynamic. C. Interactive. D. Directive. The answer is A. Covert. 9. When there is an apparent, intentional, and physically aggressive act irrespective of severity against another person, there is A. Battering. B. Assault. C. Chaos. D. Crisis. The answer is B. Assault. 10. What kind of assault committed when it includes kicking, punching, deliberately throwing an object and drawing a lethal weapon against someone? A. Mental. B. Physical. C. Sexual. D. Verbal. The answer is B. Physical. 11. Allege means A. Assert or make an accusation. B. Remove from its position. C. Direct an act from doing. D. Intentional mutilation. The answer is A. Assert or make an accusation. 12. What do you call measures other than judicial proceedings used to deal with a young person alleged to have committed an offense? A. Rehabilitation. B. Alternative measures. C. Individual response against bad behavior. D. Extrajudicial proceedings. The answer is B. Alternative measures. 13. What do we call the psychological, emotional and behavioral reactions and deficits of women victims and their inability to respond effectively to repeated physical and psychological violence? A. Woman menopausal syndrome. B. Battered woman syndrome. C. Violence against women. D. Monoton rule. The answer is B. Battered woman syndrome. 14. What is the theory that tumors and seizures have been associated with aggression and violent behavior? A. Brain lesion theory. B. Conspiracy theory. C. Neurotic mind theory. D. Dementia precox. The answer is A. Brain lesion theory. 15. A term used to describe a clinical condition in young children who have received non-accidental, inexcusable violence or injury, 
ranging from minimal to severe or fatal trauma, at the hand of an adult in a position of trust, generally a parent or guardian. A. Battered Child Syndrome B. Incapacitated Child Syndrome C. Abuse Trauma Syndrome D. None of these The answer is A. Battered Child Syndrome 16. When we say capital offense, it means A. A very serious crime, for which the death penalty is imposed B. The highest penalty for selected offenses C. Total punishment of offender by incarceration D. All of the above the answer is A, a very serious crime, for which the death penalty is imposed. 17. At trial, the authenticity of an item as evidence is crucial, whether it be a physical object like a bullet, a medical record or a photograph. The item cannot be offered in court without a testimonial sponsor who can vouch for its unaltered authenticity to the court and the jury. To validate an item's unaltered authenticity, a record must be kept of each and every time the item changes hands. This refers to A. Records management B. Presentation of evidence in court C. Chain of custody D. Laboratory analysis of items The answer is A. Records management 18. The negligent treatment or maltreatment of a child by a parent or caretaker under circumstances indicating harm or threatened harm to the child's health or welfare is known as A. Child abuse B. Child neglect C. Child dilemma D. Child in conflict with the law The answer is C. Child dilemma 19. The exchange of sexual favors for money or other material goods without any emotional involvement involving a person under the age of 18 years is called A. Child prostitution B. Child trafficking C. Both A and B are correct D. Both A and B are wrong the answer is A. Child prostitution. 20. An abuse that is kept secret for a purpose, concealed, or underhanded is called A. Clandestine abuse. B. Clinical abuse. C. Overt abuse. D. Abuse of authority. The answer is A. Clandestine abuse. 21. A false belief based on an incorrect inference about external reality and firmly sustained despite clear evidence to the contrary and which is not related to cultural or religious beliefs. A. False alarm. B. Wrong perception. C. Incoherence. D. Delusion. The answer is D. Delusion. 22. Which of the following is an act committed by a juvenile for which an adult could be prosecuted in a criminal court? A. Adult offense. B. Status offense. C. Delinquency offense. D. Children in conflict with the law. The answer is C. Delinquency offense. 23. Anything that has been used, left, removed, altered or contaminated during the commission of a crime by either the suspect or victim is part of. A. Evidence. B. Modus operandi. C. Recidivism. D. Preservation of crime scene. The answer is A. Evidence. 24. Generally, putting to death a person, as a legal penalty, is called. A. Infliction. B. Execution. C. Murder. D. Capital punishment. The answer is B. Execution. 25. Among the following, what is the form of abuse where the use of the victim is for selfish purposes and or financial gain? A. Verbal abuse. B. Exploitation. C. Racketeering. D. Kotongism. The answer is C. Racketeering. 26. The most common legal grounds for termination of parental rights, also a form of child abuse in most states. Sporadic visits, a few phone calls, or birthday cards are not sufficient to maintain parental rights. A. Exploitation. B. Abuse. C. Neglect. D. Abandonment. The answer is D. Abandonment. 27. Which of the following is defined as acts or omissions by a legal caretaker that encompasses a broad range of acts, and usually requires proof of intent? A. Abuse. B. Exploitation. C. Neglect. D. Abandonment. The answer is A. Abuse. 28. The phase of a delinquency hearing similar to a trial in adult criminal court, 
except that juveniles have no right to a jury trial, a public trial, or bail. A. Acquittal. B. Conviction. C. Adjudication. D. Entertainment. The answer is C. Adjudication. 29. Any of the processes involving enforcement of care, custody, or support orders by an executive agency rather than by courts or judges. A. Criminal procedure. B. Administrative procedure. C. Summary procedure. D. Trial. The answer is B. Administrative procedure. 30. A legal relationship between two people not biologically related, usually terminating the rights of biological parents, and usually with a trial, live-in, period. Once it is finalized, the records are sealed and only the most compelling interests will enable disclosure of documents. A. Adoption. B. Foster parenting. C. Common law relationship. D. Brotherhood. The answer is A. Adoption. 31. What is the legal doctrine establishing court as determiner of best environment for raising child which is an alternative to the parens patriae doctrine? A. Rights of society. B. Miranda doctrine. C. Best interest of the child rule. D. Parental obligation. The answer is C. Best interest of the child rule. 32. What was the case that allowed second prosecution in adult court for conviction in juvenile court which was based on idea that first conviction was a civil matter? A. Case law. B. Breed v. Jones. C. Miranda v. Arizona. D. Matt v. Jeff. The answer is B. Breed v. Jones. 33. The law established by the history of judicial decisions in cases decided by judges, as opposed to common law which is developed from the history of judicial decisions and social customs. A. Case law. B. Breed v. Jones. C. Miranda v. Arizona. D. Matt v. Jeff. The answer is A. Case law. 34. The filing of legal papers by a child welfare agency when its investigation has turned up evidence of child abuse. This is a civil, rather than criminal, charge designed to take preventive action, like appointment of a guardian for at-risk children before abuse occurs. A. Child prosecution. B. Child protection action. C. Parens patriae. D. Preliminary investigation. The answer is B. Child protection action. 35. The act of being responsible for enforcing child support obligations is known as A. Child's care. B. Parental guidance. C. Child at risk. D. Child support. The answer is D. Child support. 36. A court order for placement in a secure facility, separate from adults, for the rehabilitation of a juvenile delinquent. A. Summon. B. Subpoena. C. Custodial confinement. D. Rehabilitation order. The answer is C. Custodial confinement. 37. Blank is anyone under the care of someone else. A child ceases to be a dependent when they reach the age of emancipation. A. Delinquent. B. Dependent. C. Independent. D. Recognizance. The answer is B. Dependent. 38. In a phase of delinquency proceeding similar to sentencing phase of adult trial. The judge must consider alternative, innovative, and individualized sentences rather than imposing standard sentences. A. Preliminary investigation. B. Judgment. C. Disposition. D. Probationary period. The answer is C. Disposition. 39. The independence of a minor from his or her parents before reaching age of majority is known as A. Enlightenment. B. Recognizance. C. Emancipation. D. Freedom from parental obligation. The answer is C. Emancipation. 40. A clause requiring government to treat similarly situated people the same or have good reason for treating them differently. Compelling reasons are considered to exist for treating children differently. A. Bill of Rights. B. Equal Protection. C. Parens Patriae. D. Diversion. The answer is B. Equal Protection. 41. What is the legal doctrine preventing unemancipated children from suing their parents? A. Parens Patriae Doctrine. B. Equal Protection. C. Family Immunity Doctrine. D. Poisonous Tree Doctrine. The answer is C. 
Family Immunity Doctrine. 42. What is the legal doctrine holding parents liable for injuries caused by a child's negligent driving or other actions? A. Family Purpose Doctrine. B. Family Immunity Doctrine. C. Parens Patriae Doctrine. D. None of the above. The answer is A. Family Purpose Doctrine. 43. Guardian ad litem means A. For the proceeding, B. Protection of child by the law, C. Guardians of the little children, D. Legal authority. The answer is A. For the proceeding, 44. A court order giving an individual or organization legal authority over a child. A guardian of the person is usually an individual and the child is called a ward. A guardian of the estate is usually an organization, like a bank, which manages the property and assets of a child's inheritance. Guardians are usually compensated for their services. A. Guardianship. B. Order of authority. C. In loco parentis. D. Parens patriae. The answer is A. Guardianship. 45. Teachers, administrators, and babysitters who are viewed as having some temporary parental rights and obligations are considered. A. Guardianship. B. Order of authority. C. In loco parentis. D. Parens patriae. The answer is C, in loco parentis. 46. What is the legal doctrine establishing parental role of state over welfare of its citizens, especially its children? A. Guardianship. B. Order of authority. C. In loco parentis. D. Parens patriae. The answer is D. Parens patriae. 47. The emergency. Temporary custody by a child welfare agency, police agency, or hospital for reasons of imminent danger to the child is called a. Preventive detention. b. Diversion. c. Witness protection program. d. Protective custody. The answer is d. Protective custody. 48. What is the legal doctrine granting custody to the parent whom the child feels the greatest emotional attachment to? a. Psychological parent. b. Maternity. C. Paternity. D. Parental selection. The answer is A. Psychological parent. 49. A disposition requiring a defendant to pay damages to a victim. The law prohibits making it a condition of receiving probation. Poor families cannot be deprived of probation simply because they are too poor to afford it. A. Bond. B. Surety. C. Restitution. D. Protection money. The answer is C. Restitution. 50. An activity illegal when engaged in by a minor, but not when done by an adult. Examples include truancy, curfew, running away, or habitually disobeying parents. A. Adult offenses. B. Minor offenses. C. Status offenses. D. Stubbornness. The answer is C. Status offenses. 51. A spouse of a biological parent who has no legal rights or duties to the child other than those which have been voluntarily accepted. A. Maternity. B. Paternity. C. Step-parent. D. Foster parent. The answer is C. Step-parent. 52. A parent who provided an egg, sperm, or uterus with an intent of giving the child up for adoption to specific parties. A. None of these. B. Step parent. C. Foster parent. D. Surrogate parent. The answer is D. Surrogate parent. 53. What is the legal doctrine that unless the mother is unfit, very young children should be placed in custody with their mother following a divorce? A. Tender years doctrine. B. Psychological parent doctrine. C. Unwed mother's doctrine. D. Illegitimacy. The answer is A. Tender Years Doctrine. 54. What is declared of a temporary or permanent termination of parental rights in the best interest of the child usually for reasons of abandonment, abuse, or neglect, but also including mental illness, addiction, or criminal record? A. Unfit Parent. B. Psychological Incapacitation. C. Mental Disturbance. D. Child at Risk. The answer is B. Psychological Incapacitation. 55. It refers to the security given for the release of the person in custody of the law, furnished by him, her or a bondsman, to guarantee his, her appearance before any court. A. 
surety b money order c conditions d none of these the answer is d none of these 56 it refers to the totality of the circumstances and conditions most congenial to the survival protection and feelings of security of the child and most encouraging to the child's physical psychological and emotional development a best interest of the child b rights c obligations d child's role the answer is a best interest of the child 57 children who are vulnerable to and at the risk of committing criminal offenses because of personal family and social circumstances are considered a abused children b neglected children c children in conflict with the law d children at risk the answer is d children at risk 58 a child who is alleged as accused of or adjudged as having committed an offense under philippine laws is considered a child at risk b child in conflict with the law c minor offense d juvenile offender the answer is b child in conflict with the law 59 the apprehension or taking into custody of a child in conflict with the law by law enforcement officers or private citizens is termed as a arrest b initial contact c child custody d all of the above the answer is B, initial contact, 60, the series of activities designed to address issues that caused the child to commit an offense. It may take the form of an individualized treatment program, which may include counseling, skills training, education, and other activities that will enhance his, her psychological, emotional and psychosocial well-being is called A, reformation guide, B, intervention, C, diversion, D, welfare procedures. The answer is B, intervention. 61. An undertaking in lieu of a bond assumed by a parent or custodian who shall be responsible for the appearance in court of the child in conflict with the law, when required is known as A, status offense, B, none of these, C, recognizance, D, bail. The answer is C, recognizance. 62. What is the type of offense committed where there is no private offended party involved? a status offense b victimless crime c minor crime d none of these the answer is b victimless crime 63 what is the doctrine that requires a process of resolving conflicts with the maximum involvement of the victim the offender and the community a proactive justice b restorative justice c reactive justice d all of the above the answer is b restorative justice 64 one of the following is an act constituting exploitation and sex abuse among children in exchange of any form of incentive a child trafficking b child abuse c child prostitution d child racketeering the answer is c child prostitution 65 centuries ago criminal behavior was believed to be the result of evil spirits and demons Guilt and innocence were established by a variety of procedures that presumably called forth the supernatural allies of the accused. The accused were innocent if they could survive an ordeal, they were guilty if they died at the stake or if omens were associated with them. In the 18th century, this spiritual determination began to give way to a. The belief that there is no such thing as bad spirits. b. The belief that humans are rational creatures with free will, who seek happiness and pleasure and avoid pain c the belief that man is a demon and devil d the belief that man is evolved from the animal ape the answer is b the belief that humans are rational creatures with free will who seek happiness and pleasure and avoid pain 66 among the following classical thoughts in criminology is not correct a the classical school of criminology is spearheaded by bentham and beccaria b the classical school of criminology is an advocate of punishment as a deterrent to crime. c. The classical school of criminology argues that criminals were primitive creatures, incapable of living normally in society. d. The classical school of criminology also argued that nature has placed mankind under the governance of two sovereign masters, pain, and pleasure. The answer is c. 
The classical school of criminology argues that criminals were primitive creatures, incapable of living normally in society. 67. What school of thought in criminology challenges the proposition that man has absolute free will to choose between good and evil and states that it is not absolute as presumed to be because free will can be diminished by pathology, mental disorders and other conditions that may instigate personal responsibility? A. Neoclassical school of criminology. B. Positivism. C. Hedonistic calculus. D. Radical criminology. The answer is A. Neoclassical School of Criminology, 68. The classical school of thoughts in criminology is based on the principle of free will. The positivist thoughts on the other hand is focused on the principle of a. Darwinism, b. Determinism, c. Cognitive functioning, d. Conceptual thinking. The answer is b. Determinism, 69. The differential association theory provides a good illustration of a social learning approach perspective in criminology criminal behavior according to this theory as a a result of an emotional disturbance b an inmate quality of goodness or badness c learned and not inherited d an excess of wisdom the answer is c learned and not inherited 70 what perspective in criminology probes the situational or environmental action and examines the underlying conditions within the environment that may encourage criminal behavior? A. Psychiatric criminology. B. Psychological criminology. C. Sociological criminology. D. Criminal anthropology. The answer is C. Sociological criminology. 71. In the past, Psychologists assumed that they could best understand human behavior by searching for a stable, consistent personality dispositions or traits that exert orderly generalized effects on behavior. Which among the following theory on criminal behavior is not consistent with the previous statement? A. Psychoanalytical theory. B. Strain theory. C. Behavioral descriptions. D. Psychological determination. The answer is B. Strain theory. 72. Based on the Lombroso's works, he classified criminals as the born criminal, the habitual, the passionate and the criminaloid. Which of the following statements describe a criminaloid? A. The morally insane and hysteric criminal. B. The impulsive and cruel criminal. C. The weak natures susceptible to bad examples. D. The primitive and atavist. The answer is C. The weak natures susceptible to bad examples. 73. Some criminology theorists have linked physical characteristics with personality. Among these theories is William Sheldon's somatotyping theory. He classified body physique into three categories as the endomorphic, the mesomorphic and the ectomorphic body. Of the following statements, which appropriately describes the mesomorphic? A. The twin and fragile with withdrawn behavior. B. The muscular and hard physique. C. The attractive and beautifully shaped. D. The fat and soft body type. The answer is B, the muscular and hard physique. 74. According to Hans Eysenck, in his study about the behavioral character and incidence to crime, the typical extrovert is one who is a sociable, impulsive, optimistic and has high needs for excitement, b reserved, quiet and cautious, c undersized, short and untidy, d oversized, heavy and firm. The answer is A. Sociable, impulsive, optimistic and has high needs for excitement. 75. To explain human behavior, social learning theorists place great emphasis on cognitive variables. Social learning reflects the theory's strong assumption that we learn primarily by observing and listening to people around us A. The social environment. B. The stimulus that elicit response. C. The mental state and brain mediation processes. D. The reinforcements for behavior. The answer is A, the social environment. Seventy-six. In the study of juvenile delinquency, which of the following projects paved the way for a reassessment of existing treatment and prevention programs for delinquents? A, Chicago Area Project of 1930. B, Illinois Legislature. C, Boston Child Guidance Clinic. D, President's Commission on Law Enforcement in the U.S. The answer is A, 
Chicago Area Project of 1930. 77. One family background predictors in juvenile delinquency is broken home. The term broken home is ambiguous but can be characterized by a. Inadequate type of family structure. b. Antisocial type of family structure. c. Discordant or disturbed family structure. d. Disrupted or incomplete family structure. The answer is d. Disrupted or incomplete family structure. 78. Parental discipline appears relation to delinquency. Harsh discipline in the home may result in more delinquencies than consistent and reasoning forms of discipline. Aside from this, screaming at the child, calling the child insulting names, excessive criticizing or generally ignoring the child is also contributory to delinquency. These actions simply refers to a. Physical abuse, b. Emotional abuse, c. Unfair parent, d. Parental neglect. The answer is B. Emotional abuse. 79. When a person is seen to show indiscriminate giggling or crying, emotional flatness, the voice is monotonous, the face immobile and expressionless and manifest highly bizarre and add behavior then appropriately he is. A. Suffering from neurotic behavior. B. Suffering from psychopathic behavior. C. Suffering from schizophrenia or psychotic behavior. D. Suffering from sexual dysfunctions. The answer is C. Suffering from schizophrenia or psychotic behavior. 80. It is a popular notion that the brutal, violent and apparently senseless crime is usually committed by someone who is mentally ill or sick. Or if not sick, then the person is an animal. The kind of alternate explanation is an influence of the A. Positivist theory of criminology. B. Classical theory of criminology. C. Neoclassical theory of criminology. D. Differential Association Theory of Criminology The answer is A. Positivist Theory of Criminology 81. Which of the following is not a symptom of dissocial behavior? A. Failure to conform to social norms B. Consistent irresponsibility, as reflected in a poor work history C. Lack of guilt for wrongdoings D. Episode of schizophrenia like illogical thinking The answer is D, episode of schizophrenia like illogical thinking. 82. A Scottish woodcutter was accused of killing a man he believed to be prime minister for thought that he was persecuted by the Tories and their leader, Robert Peel, however turned out to be another person. The court believed he was so mentally deranged that it would be inhuman to convict him since it was clear he was not in control of his faculties. This case became known as, A. The Monoton Rule, B. The Durham Rule, C. The Bronner Rule, D. The Irrational Mind Rule. The answer is A. The Monoton Rule. 83. One day we may be cool and withdrawn and the next day, warm and sociable. This condition may fall into the disorder known as, A. Bipolar Disorder, B. Schizophrenia, C. Psychopathic Behavior, D. Amnesia. The answer is A. Bipolar Disorder. 84. A bank robber who kills some individual within the bank, flees with hostages, and kills a number of people while in flight diving a chase would be an example of a. Serial murder, b. Spree murder, c. Mass murder, d. Multiple murder. The answer is a. Serial murder. 85. Pedro engaged in a multiple means of torture, using psychological torment combined with physical methods to lighten his sexual arousal is suffering from a. Sexual pyromania, b. Sexual sadism, c. Sexual torture, d. Masochism. The answer is b. Sexual sadism. 86. There are many pathways to delinquency and a variety of family circumstances contribute to negative behavior in children. Which of the following developmental pathways to delinquency begins with stubborn behavior, then defiant behavior, and developing later into avoidance of authority figures like truancy, running away, staying out late, etc.? A. Authority conflict pathways. B. Covert pathway. C. Overt pathway. D. None of these. The answer is A. Authority conflict pathways. 87. Which of the following refers to juveniles who have Dolly Incapax? A. Children aging from 7 to 12 years. B. Children above 9 to below 15 years old. 
c. Children at puberty age. d. Children in conflict with the law. The answer is b. Children above 9 to below 15 years old. 88. Recent research and legal literature suggest that a useful way of classifying juvenile crime is to distinguish between serious and non-serious acts and between serious and non-serious offenders. Among the following, which is not considered a serious juvenile act? a. Forcible sexual intercourse. b. Larceny. c. Homicide. d. Vagrancy. The answer is d. Vagrancy. 89. The best PCR a police officer can do to the community is a. Harass the people, b. Perform his job well, c. Dress well, d. Always present in the office. The answer is b. Perform his job well, 90. Which of the following is the basic political unit of the Filipino nation that implements the policies of the national and local government? a. Family, b. Society, c. Community. D. Barangay. The answer is A. Family. 91. In crisis management, the teams under the support unit are under the control of the ground commander. Which is responsible for the collection and processing of all information needed by the on scene commander? A. Security element. B. Support unit. C. Negotiation unit. D. Intelligence team. The answer is D intelligence team 92 what is known to be the oldest but commonly used terrorist tactic where target are often police military officials or political features a hijacking b assassination c ambush d kidnap for ransom the answer is b assassination 93 the one who makes complete estimate of the crisis situation and plans his courses of actions upon arrival at the incident area while negotiation is in progress is the a. Chief Negotiator b. Tactical Commander c. Fire Fighting Team d. Support Unit Commander The answer is b. Tactical Commander 94. A comprehensive plan which delineates responsibilities and specific action to be taken when a bomb incident or bomb threat occurs is called a. Floor plan b. Bomb threat plan c. Drill d. Contingency plan The answer is b. Bomb threat plan 95. What do you call the phenomenon where a hostage begins to identify his captor and give his sympathy to his own hostage taker? A. Home shock syndrome. B. Traumatic syndrome. C. Withdrawal syndrome. D. None of these. The answer is D. None of these. 96. Among the following, which is most contagious on human emotion? A. Fear. B. Panic. C. Worry. D. Dementia precox. The answer is A. Fear. 97. In Stockholm Syndrome, some of the causes why a hostage becomes cooperative with the hostage taker is due to a. Selfishness b. Personal grudge c. Personal affection d. Personal interest The answer is c. Personal affection 98. The stage of advanced planning, organization and coordination and control in response to an anticipated future crisis occurrence is called a. Proactive crisis management. B. Reactive crisis management. C. Performance stage. D. Reaction phase. The answer is A. Proactive crisis management. 99. What stage is the performance of the crisis management plan when a crisis situation occurs? A. Proactive phase. B. Reactive phase. C. Prediction. D. None of these. The answer is B. Reactive phase. 100. What model of insurgency does the New People's Army in the Philippines is employing? A. Communist model. B. Socialist model. C. Democratic model. D. None of these. The answer is A. Communist model.
If you like this video please click the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to stay up to date with my latest videos.